Okay, let's talk a little bit about foot position on the rubber. As I said in, in our pitching mechanics, one of our uh, criteria and one of our goals is to have balance. And I want to demonstrate, uh, before I get into the difference in the windup and the set position, I want to talk a little bit about foot position on the rubber and how critical of a fundamental that is for any pitcher, whether he's a youngster or a major leaguer. Okay, the first decision is which side of the rubber to throw off. The typical, uh, most common uh, method would be if I'm a left-handed pitcher, that when my foot drops in, I'm going to be on the left-hand side of the rubber or the arm side of the rubber. If I'm a right-handed pitcher, I would be on the right-handed side of the rubber or the arm side of the rubber. Uh, you see more and more guys nowadays that throw from the opposite side of their arm side. You'll see left-handed pitchers use the whole 24 inches of the rubber and go all the way to the glove side of the rubber and, and vice versa. You'll see right-handed pitchers come over here and go to the right uh, or the uh, glove side of the, of the rubber. Uh, for me, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I think the theory of left-handed pitcher going to the glove side would be a pitcher that has a sinker or a ball that uh, runs away from his, from his arm side. And uh, the disadvantage to this would be that it, it takes away the angle and some of the deceptive parts of delivering from the arm side of the rubber over here. Uh, another thing that uh, theory-wise that we believe thrown from the glove side of the rubber is it has a tendency to keep you more in line with your stride and, and direction to the catcher. It's much easier to stay closed and keep your front side closed with your stride from here than it would be from the more common way of throwing from this side of the rubber. When I stride, if I'm going right to the catcher, I'm going to have a tendency to open up, which creates mechanical problems. So, that is less important to me. We usually we make uh, we experiment a little bit. We allow pitchers to throw from both sides, depending on what their stuff is, and uh, we really want them to feel comfortable. I think out of the choices involved, the last choice or thing that I would allow them to do is throw right from the center of the rubber. That way, we have no advantage, deception-wise or angle-wise, one way or the other. What is a critical uh, fundamental with the foot position, and I'll get into this more specifically, is how we drop the foot in. Whether I'm on this side, in the middle, or on this side, the manner in, way in which we drop our foot in is critical. And again, this relates to balance. This, this will lead into everything else mechanically. If I do not drop my foot in and create a solid foundation. I cannot maintain balance through the delivery. I'm going to have a very, uh, very difficult time being consistent. So this is a, the most critical fundamental of all. And the way we teach that is when they drop in, the side of their foot runs parallel to the rubber. Their foot is down in front of the rubber. And that's created a solid foundation, as you can see, for balance. Uh, I know some coaches teach to keep one cleat up on the rubber. Uh, we don't believe in that because depending on what kind of mound maintenance there is or, or hole in front of the rubber, you're going to have mounds from ballpark to ballpark that you may have balance problems as a result of that. So when we drop our foot in, the side of our foot is against the rubber. We want uh, the foot to be parallel to the rubber and no extremes one way or the other and we want that foot to be grounded and create a great foundation to create balance in the delivery.